Hello YouTube, this is uh, Thunderchild79 here. Um, I just wanted to do a um, sort of a review on the Collins Complete British Trees by Paul Sterry. Um, what happened was I was actually in uh, in the Metro Centre and I saw a book called uh, was this actually I think it was the same book, but it was in a, a, a smaller format. It was like a pocket guide. Um, I went on the internet. Uh, found a, uh, a website, uh, sorry, went on eBay, found uh, what I thought was the same one, ordered it, it came, it was your, the later version. However, I think pretty much similar to what was, uh, what was, in, the, what was in the one I looked at. And um, I was like, uh, well, I'm really impressed with this book actually. Um, like uh, learning a lot about the trees, um, it's by Collins. See, it's a fairly hefty book. Um, the weight of them is uh, the weight of this one is fairly substantial because it's got all the ink in from the pictures and, and what have you. It's quite a, a solid little book. Um, it's got the, uh, the, the, the write up on the back here, a couple of pictures, the prices, and what have you. It's also got this uh, t uh, ruler on the side here. And the idea is that you uh, stand 50 meters or 50 paces away from the tree. You hold it out at arm's length and uh, the scale denotes uh, in uh, how tall the tree is in metres, which I thought was quite handy. Uh, <coughs> the, the guide itself is uh, quite complete in every sense. Um, there's a, a list of content here, which is um, uh, how the tree is used, fungi on trees, uh, hedgerows, uh, how, to use oak tr how to use an oak tree. Species descriptions and, and what have you. And uh, if you go to a page here, there we are, alders. Uh, as you can see, there's a. If I can get a close up on this one, maybe. Worth it. There you go. As you can see, all the pictures are fairly clear. Uh, nice, nice pictures. Uh, picture there, the bark. Far out there. Oh, sorry. There you are. Now, um, as you can see, just there, there's a little map also on each page that shows you the spread of the tree in the UK. Um, it's also got a, um, a basic general gen, general information about the tree um, in in a, in, a, in a wide variety of roles. Sometimes it tells you. Um, it's edibility, sometimes it tells you what's good, good use for and stuff like that. But uh, generally, this book is uh, is, is, is fabulous. It's uh, let's pull out of it. <coughs> okay, I'll just take you through some of the more, um, the bits I found interesting. It's got uh, how to use the book, um, basic tree biology. It uh, shows you a cross section of the trees and uh, how they uh, uh, maneuver the the um, minerals and vitamins and um, the photosynthesis the energy around the uh, the plant around the tree um, it's quite a good read that um, I've, I've now come to realize why you don't uh, put uh, ropes around trees and uh, you, or you or, or you try and avoid using um, round ropes uh, for um, your hammocks uh, quite interesting read um, also has quite a, a clever <coughs> I thought it was clever. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, let's see if we can find it. There it is. Winter twigs. Um, it's uh, basically uh, drawings of each twig within the winter period, um, which can come in handy because, you know, as other people will know, identifying trees in the winter isn't the easiest, um, and this just makes it that a little bit easier. And with the pit, and with it being pictures instead of drawn. I think it makes it a lot clearer actually uh, with uh, how it works. Um, comparing leaves, there's a comparing leaves section. Uh, there's also a comparing bark from the trees. Um, and then obviously there's, there's a very, very wide selection of photographs and what have you for the for different things. There is some, there is some um, drawn pictures. But as you can see, they're, they're fairly, uh, they're fairly <coughs> clear. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, 
there's a drawing picture there. Um, Chinese fir foliage. Yeah, yeah. But they're, they're not bad. Um, I'm, I'm surprised uh, they, with the quality of this actually, um, it's what I've been looking for. If you've probably seen one of my other videos, I carry a uh, Collins Gem uh, Trees book. But that's, um, the format's fairly small. The write-ups are small. It's handy to have in your pocket. But um, I think I might substitute it for this one. Yeah, so. Um, and just to give you a comparison on the actual size of this thing, I'll just get my iPhone out. There's the iPhone uh, 4S. Uh, as you can see, it's, it's, it's a fairly big book and it's heavy. I would say it's nearly a pound in weight, something like that. It's a, it's, it's a hefty book, so. Yeah. Uh, anyway, I hope you enjoyed my uh, review. It was just a little. I think um, I've added this into my into my bush uh, bushcraft uh, mm, uh, what would you call it knowledge book um, a library that I carry with me. I find it quite a, a useful book. So uh, yeah, if um, it's well worth read, uh, even if it's just to um, identify trees in the woods uh, for um, firewood or um, carving something like that. You know, um, it's always handy to know. <coughs> okay, well I hope you enjoyed the review and uh, enjoy the rest of your day. Enjoy your Easter. Okay, see you later now. Bye-bye.